Once, an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. He went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and wouldn't come out again. The engine's name is Henry. His driver and farm argue with him, but he would not move, he said. The conductor blew his whistle till he had no more breath and waved his flag till his arms arc. But Henry still stayed in the tunnel and blew steam at him. Then along came Sir Topham Hatt, the man of charge of all the engines on the island of Sodor. Said Sir Topham Hatt, but Henry only blew steam at him. Everyone pulled except Sir Topham Hatt, he said. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Then they tried pushing from the other end. Sir Topham Hatt said, but he didn't help. He said, they pushed and pushed and pushed, but still Henry stayed in the tunnel. At last, Thomas came along. The conductor waved his red flag and stopped him. Everyone argued with Henry. They said, said Henry. Thomas pushed and puffed and pushed as hard as ever he could. But still, Henry stayed in the tunnel. Eventually, even Sir Topham Hatt gave up, he said. They took up the old rails and built a wall in front of Henry so the other engines wouldn't bump into him. All Henry could do was to watch the trains rushing through the other tunnel. He was very sad because he thought no one would see his lovely green paint and red stripes again. As time went on, and as time went on, Edward and Gordon would often pass by. Edward would say, and Gordon would say, Poor Henry had no steam to answer. His fire had gone out. So, soot and dirt from the tunnel had spoiled his lovely green paint with red stripes anyway. How long do you think Henry would stay in the tunnel before he overcomes his fear of the rain, but then decides to journey out again?